Hi this is Muhammad Rafiq welcome to my tech channel if you new here make sure click that subscribe button and enable bell icon for getting notifications for my future video uploads In this video I am going to show you how to change the Wi-Fi password on Cisco Small Business Access Point WAP4410N. Now let us see how to change the password on Cisco Wireless Access Point. For that you need a network cable. Connect one side on your wireless access point and other side you have to connect your uh, computer. Now change the IP address on the system same range as your Cisco Wi-Fi access point. For that just right click on your network then click open network and internet settings and here just uh, click change adapter options then here right click on ethernet click properties and here select tcp ip version 4 click properties and here use the following ip address enter the ip address 192.168.1.10 click ok Just close the window. Now let us see how to change the password on Cisco Wireless Access Point. So you have to log into your Cisco Wireless Access Point. For that just open your web browser and enter the IP address of access point here. Default it will be 192.168.1.245 and it will open uh, cisco wireless x point home page and enter the username password here default it will be admin and admin click login and it will open the configuration page of uh, wireless access point click wireless and under basic settings you can see the wi-fi name over there and it's enabled and after that click for change password click security and select the security mode as WPA to personal and enter your uh, password on uh, pre-shared key field click save now let us see how to change the admin password on Cisco wireless access point for that just click on administration and you can see the username and password fields over there just uh, enter the new password over there and click save now let us see how to change the IP address on your Cisco wireless access point for the just click on setup and it will open basic setup window and there you can see network setup and IP settings you have to choose static IP address then you can enter your own IP address there and click save that's it thanks for watching the video don't forget to subscribe my channel and if this video was helpful for you please like the video and if you have any queries or any questions please comment below the video i will look into it